All right, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. I am back from my mission trip in Nicaragua. I will talk about that in next video. I just have to get through this haul first. I'm very tired and I really need a list. And then when I was in Nicaragua, my phone broke and I had to buy a new phone, or I bought a new phone. Yeah, long story, but I'm here now. So anyways, I have so much to list right now. It's honestly hard to even start listing because I just don't feel like it because I just have, like I have, I'm lacking motivation, but I'm gonna try to get like 50 photo, or okay, maybe not 50, maybe like 30 photograph today. And then we'll see how it goes. But okay, I wish I left these behind, but these are seven from my kind, the Slimmy. So these are the men's jeans and men's have a rent for all and kind of have good comps some, on some of the styles, but these are a size 29 by 32. So a little bit of a smaller size. Um, but I'm not, I think these might've been the half off color or something, but I don't know. I just have, if I could go back, I would've left these behind, but that's fine. I have them now. Uh, okay, this was also half off and I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. This is Sundance size small, new label because it's teal uh, instead of the red. But uh, it's just like this cotton, like purple sweater, no embroidery or anything, but it has like these kind of like seams that look like inside out details. But I don't know. I'll, this was five, half off of five dollars, so I probably might just try to take this to the buy sell trade store. And if they take it, great. If they don't, I will list it. Uh, that's what I do. Some of the stuff I picked up and I already ran it through the Bicycle Trade Store. I must have just forgot to put this in. But I would have put these there too. But my Bicycle Trade Store does not take men's. But uh, Plato's Closet does. But I'm not sure if they would know this brand or not. Um, so. And sometimes if they don't know the brand, they will mark them at $12. So then they'd get me paid up like 2 And I'd be losing money. So I... I'll just listen at that point. All right, these were a good find. However, so these are men's Lululemon, size 34. And these are their, like, dress pants. Uh, however, I found these in the women's capri section because these are, uh, these were hemmed. And I mean, like, not just hemmed, they were badly hemmed. So these are 25-inch inseam, which is, like, even I'm, I'm like, I am 5'5". Five, five. I'm, so I'm short, and these were even, like, like, 3 or like almost five inches short on me like maybe three or four but uh there's a symbol but i would say some people might like that men might like that cropped style 34 is my best selling waist size and uh worst case scenario somebody could take them the lululemon if they wanted to to get them like hemmed again to and make them into shorts or something so uh and this style has done well for me in the past i think these are the abc pants um, I've been, I, like, rarely find these, like, the men's lululemon pants, maybe, uh, once every, like, three months, or maybe even once, twice a year or something, but, uh, I don't know if I found them this year or not, but, uh, men's lululemon does pretty well for me, so I want, I want to try them out, and I'll just have to see, I have still men, I have still, like, a 28 inch inseam before, but not a 25, so, all right. Maybe I kind of wish I left these two, but they are Zara, which I again don't always pick up. But these are a size twelve, and they are the Trudy wide leg. So they're uh, just a blue, uh, medium wash wide leg. Gee, probably a full length. Honestly, they're pretty long and seam. But the I have a pair of Zara jeans listed in a size fourteen, and they haven't sold yet. So, uh, but I'll probably list these at thirty five to forty. Um, they feel like really nice quality actually. Um, so I feel like they're a rigid denim. They have no stretch to them, but yeah. All right, I had never heard of this brand before. And this is called Max Sport. Uh, but this retailed for $228. So I looked it up. And costs were mixed, but this was not marked up. I want to say it was $4.99 as well. We have, um, at our Goodwills, they just aren't like a flat price. They have, they'll have like certain things priced. It's uh, interesting the way they price, but it's okay. Um, it's 20% wool, but this does not feel like a $228 sweater, but I don't know. I was kind of running out of time and it was $5, but I, I might take this to the buy sell trade store as well if the comps don't look good, but uh, yeah. All right, this is a new brand to me. This is called Jaded uh, Gypsy, and it's just like this green uh, Fleetwood Mac printed V-neck uh, t-shirt, and it has like distressed holes, details, which are manufactured. Um, 
So, what made me look it up was because it was, like, an interesting tag. Um, like the, sometimes the band tees can do well. I've, I don't think I've ever picked up a band tee just because they don't always sell for a lot. It had, like, the logo embroidered on the back. Similar to the brand Magnolia Pearl, the Magnolia Pearl dress they have listed uh, has that embroidered, or not embroidered, but uh, printed on the back. And when I looked at the um, care tag, it said made in Los Angeles. So I was like, huh. So uh, the comps on these, some of them were up like 35 to 50. I'll probably list mine at like 40 just to, or maybe 35, just to keep it moving. All right, I kind of wish I'd left this one behind as well, but I don't, yeah. Tori Birch, size 10. I don't even find her clothing that often, but this is just a white tank top. I looked this over very well and didn't have any, didn't have any stains. This was only priced at $2.48, but I wish, like, the buttons had, like, the actual, like, Tory Burch logo, like, that. But instead, they say Tory Burch. But I know my Bicycle Trade Store probably priced this at, like, $25. So that would give me, like, probably, like, 6 or $7. So, I don't know. I'll look that specific style up, but sometimes I can't even move, like, her blouses for like $25, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to move a tank top, but this is a size 10, and it's good for the season, but I'll just have to look it up. Um, so, as you can see, not making the best decisions. These are Patagonia size small, just like uh, women's shorts. These sell pretty well for me, around $25 to $30 sometimes, but uh, these are, I think, the hemp, uh, yeah, 55% hemp, 45% organic cotton, so, um, yeah, hemp feels like very similar to linen, but I honestly like the hemp fabric better than the linen. Sometimes I think that like the linen can be a little bit scratchy. All right, I've got these a while ago, um, but they are Judy Blue, size nine, but they're in the wash, so I forgot to hold them, but they are a very flared leg um, jean. I don't pick up Judy Blue. I leave it behind most of the time now, um, but there was a, there was a um, period of time where I got very excited to find it, but not so much anymore. But I thought those were a good size at 29 and a good style. So this is smart wool and size small. And I did notice like kind of like that whole ish type of thing. I might try this on for myself, but it's like this quarter zip merino wool sweater. Um, I think this is a men's size small, but I don't know. It was listed. It was in the men's section at my stores. My mom found this. I was kind of proud of her. Um, yeah, she was actually like going off this day. I was like, wow. Um, but I recognize sometimes smart wool by the collar when some people are wearing it and I've seen it in like shows and movies and stuff They have like a like, kind of like a striped collar like this and I'm like, oh, that's smart wool or uh, This is their logo. I know it's somewhere, but um, I don't really think this is a brand most thrift stores markup either, but that that's their logo um, It's kind of like looks like a robot But I don't know. He has a name. I can't remember but um I don't think that's super important, but I heard somebody say, I'll come on one of my YouTube videos one time, they got a bad rating because their smart wool piece that they sold didn't have a logo on it. And yeah, that, I thought that was interesting. Um, this was one of my favorite finds. I was very excited. This is Holding Horses, an anthropology brand. This is a size two, but um, I was marked as a plus size top. I kind of just saw the print and I like walked over to it and I saw that and I'm like, I'm getting this. This was $4.99, even though it's a dress, it is very oversized. Like I I would think it was a plus size top, but um maybe yeah, but or like a tunic, but it is a dress. So I think this will do very well. Um I'm hoping it'll do well. Um but I would pick this up in modern time. Like if I went to the Goodwill today, I would have picked this up because I do like this piece. Um it's just cotton and viscose, but I, I think the print is very cool. It's like a shirt dress style, oversized. It has this very nice embroidery there. Like, I think this is a great style. But hopefully it does well. But we will have to see. All right. Uh, this brand, it's like okay for me. This is Marine Layer, size 8. And it's just like the skirt. Skirts don't do very well for me. And I think this whole, like, style is a little bit outdated. But I think it was $5. Maybe half off. I don't remember. But I don't think it would have made it to half off day. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to see. I don't think that's a brand my bicycle trade store knows either. Uh, there isn't a marine layer sold anywhere near me, but um, yeah. All right, I think these are next to the Patagonia shorts. They're probably the same person. These are Athleta size two. It doesn't say the style name, but I'm pretty confident these are the Cabo linen um, shorts. So these, oh, these were 524.
there's the price. So, um, let me see. Yeah, 100% linen. So, this is like one of the newer, when are these from? These are from spring of 2022. So, a year old, but there's a tag. So, I do pretty well with newer styles of Athleta, but I usually, I pick up probably like 30% of Athleta that I see. But I, I have quite a bit of Athleta in this haul. Okay, I never pick up this brand, uh, but never say never. Uh, it just does not do well for me the times I've sold it, and I've tried a lot of the styles, and it just doesn't sell for a lot or very, very, very fast. So for those reasons, I pass on it. But this came out in a new rack. It is soft surrounding, size large. And I just saw it, and I was just like, huh. It's like a kimono type, and like it has a whole bunch of like patch, patchwork and embroidery. And I'm like, okay, this definitely looks like something pretty good like i just feel like i should just look this up and so oh and also had like this oh i hope it has all the buttons oh i think it's just yeah a single button uh closure i, th I, be I believe i hope otherwise it's definitely a single button so single button closure like that um yeah so single button closure and it has like this really interesting toggle button so soft surroundings, you can look up the styles um, on this tag. Just because it has a style name does not mean you'll always be able to find it. Like so I've looked up from different brands and I can't find the style even with using the style number, but I always try if it's there. Um, and I saw one listed on eBay for like $85 um, and that was the only one I could find. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just try this out and probably list it at like 50. But uh, also the fabric is 71% wool, 29% silk. So that's the shell of it. And the uh, lining is polyester, but I thought it was really nice. I like the colors. Size large is a good size. So I thought I'd try that out. Let me know if you try that out. And right next to that was this piece from uh, Amadi, um, size large. And it's new tag from Anthropology. The price tag was ripped. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they would have marked it up. But it's a like surplus. Sur plus neckline, I think, uh, kind of, like, probably a little bit, eh, a little shorter length, but I don't think it's cropped with, like, a sleeve, and it's, like, this ribbed material, I don't think it, it feels like modal fabric, but let me check, um, oh, it's rayon polyester spandex, so no, it's not, but, um, so people are, like, oh, like, if it has a 6617, if you find a brand that's sometimes sold by Anthropology, I don't think this brand is exclusively to Anthropology, but um, they're like, eh. I heard some people say like, if it doesn't have a 66170RN number, that means it was not sold at Anthropology, but that is not true. Uh, this one does not, and obviously has the Anthropology tag. Uh, and I've also, uh, I've also found other pieces, new tag from Anthropology that did not have the RN number. So um, just because it doesn't have the RN number does not mean it's, you know, not sold at Anthropology, but or, yeah, so, one of my favorite brands to sell, Eileen Fisher, size 2X, I don't always pick up Eileen Fisher, but probably, like, probably 60 or 70% of the time I do, uh, but these are organic cotton polyester, and they're just, I think I've sold this style before, uh, but these are, like, the lantern, like, crop pants, or wide leg, but then they go into a taper, but these will probably give me 40 to $50, um, and they'll probably sell within a few days of being listed on eBay, probably not on Poshmark, but you never know. Um, all right. Oh, this was actually exciting. So I saw this on a, like a return rack. Actually, I saw the Patagonia and I thought of shorts and this on like a return rack. So somebody could probably turn them on, but I saw like that Lululemon and I was like, oh great. So size large. And I, so I picked it up and I felt like something hit my leg and I was like, what is that? And then I, uh, looked at it closer and I found out it was new tags. I was like, what? Like, I was very excited. So this is a rash guard. Actually, it's size large. Um, and it is, like, I've never seen a tag like this before, but some, the w swim tops from Lululemon, they actually, okay, so actually, okay, this is kind of crazy. This is my first time. I have, I bought the iPhone um 14 Pro, and this is my um uh, first time filming with it, actually, and I, I bought it myself. So before, I know if I was on TikTok, people would call me spoiled and stuff, but, but like, look, look at it focus. This is like a professional camera. Like that? Okay, that's crazy. Um, but there's a symbol. Uh, okay, so back to the s tag. So it says size large, and it looks like that. It's not as long. But, 
when I looked up Lululemon online, all their swim tops are... The women's will usually have the numbers, and the men's will usually have, like, the alphabet, whatever. And then, um, for this one, they had, like, the alphabet sizing. But I will return this to Lululemon, and then I will get my... I think it retail for $70, and I will either get... I'll probably get a new shirt. So, they... I mean... Yeah, I just now have a Lululemon store near me, and I... This is my second time finding new tags Lululemon. The first time was in Chicago, so... I will probably, I have, I still haven't returned that one to Lulu, so I will just probably wait for those two. And I'll probably get, actually get myself a new pair of joggers, because there's, yeah, or maybe a new pair of pants. I don't know yet, but we'll just have to see. All right. I don't know. I've used, I've slowed, I don't pick this brand up in the tops anymore unless I can find them in, like, a new style. But these are a gray straight leg pair of uh, figs. So these are size extra small, small. These might be the men's, but... Yeah, they are the men's, but that's okay. I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, we'll just, yeah. The men's haven't, statistically, have not performed as well as the women's for me, but, uh, I don't pick up the tops by themselves anymore. Unless, like, and just, like, the basic styles, unless they're, like, if they're, like, a gray or black or something. But if I find the set, I will pick them up. All right, this, um, actually, this was kind of cool. So, this is a St. John Vintage. I don't, it doesn't have a size tag, but it has shoulder pads, and it's like this sequined puff sleeve cardigan. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is very interesting. Definitely vintage. Um, open front cardigan. Long line. This was probably a size, I'm going to list it probably as like a size, uh, I don't know, probably like a large or 12. Definitely seems a little bit of a generous size, but... Um, I have sold a pair of St. John sequin pants in like three days on eBay for like $85 and I think I underpriced those. So I'll probably list this one at like maybe the same or maybe at a hundred and we'll just have to see how it does. But I can always drop the price later, but all right. So yeah, so I found this was in the kids section half off. This was Icebreaker Merino. So it was literally a dollar, but I didn't notice that it had like this hole right there. So that's a bummer. So I might just keep this for myself. I'm not a huge fan of like the orange trim, but uh, I don't know. But it has a logo right there as well. But I was going to take this to Nicaragua. And what they do sometimes is they are a lot of the time is so we'll go to like Goodwill and like, I guess, just pick out like random like clothes for us to like wear and work there. And then we'll just like leave them behind for like other people. Um, like the citizens there sometimes like the workers like at the mission that we stay at but i was going to do that but i think i forgot this there but it's okay i will probably keep it or just list it but that's all right all right this is a new brand of me and this retail for i think two hundred fifty 150 to 200 dollars. it's called go silk and this is a size small made in usa it's like this pewter powder blue color um it's wrinkled because it's been in like a bag but yeah probably list this one at 35 um, this seems really high quality as well. Like, this silk is very nice. So. Alright, then my mom was in the activewear section. And, like, she was just pulling brand after brand out. I was like, what is going on? So, I, this is a, um, equipment, or not equipment, um, exclusively mistook size small, just shell. Um, this brand actually does pretty well for me, but I'm not sure if I would have grabbed it because with all the half the list, but that's okay. Um, okay, so for the first, like, my mom was in, in, in the athletic wear, just minding her own business, just, like, looking through. Oh, this is, like, from, like, Monday Thrift Strips, by the way. It's not, like, from, like, one, or else they probably would have been excited, but this is probably from, like, three or four, but anyways. All from the same store, actually. I don't know. I, there's just one, my one favorite store I go to a, a lot, because probably, yeah. These are Lululemon, and these are the camo wonder under 25-inch. Um, I've been looking for these in my sister's size. They want the camo print really bad, but they don't have it. They don't have it yet. Um, but these are size 12. Um, these are a uh, really good style. So I probably if I listed these, they these are still on the website. Um, this is like one of the pairs they will make remake over and over again. But I think they're about to discontinue the Wonder Under. Um, so I know one local person like that's also a reseller, like, asked about those so i think I, what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna list them unless somebody here wants them uh because i kind of wanted a 50 dollars for them because they're a new style and a good size that i don't find but if she finds something that i want in my size or something i'll probably just 
like eventually I'll probably just keep it to the side and ask them ask her if she wants to trade for them. But alright, then my mom found these. So these are a pair of Athleta. And these are a 3X, so a good size. Uh so these are the Elitation Camo 78 tight. So 3X. And they're 7 8 links. And these are in like these are like in excellent condition. I feel like I'm never worn honestly, but yeah, so those were those. Sometimes with the like like size three X and like brands like Athleta or just like some other like more expensive brands, I have a harder time selling those. Uh, yeah, but I I thought I'd try these out. So these were probably the best pair. These are Athleta, and they are a size three X as well. And these are the Elitation Flare Pant. So they, I think these were this was the newest pair. This is from spring of twenty twenty two. So a year old. And these have been worn, but they are in good condition as well. So they're a teal flare leg. I'll probably list these ones. At, I'll probably list these ones at like 60. These probably at 60 to 50. The, yeah. Oh, here. Guess who has to make their star appearance? Like, I think he... he I think he missed us because we were gone for like 10 days. But, um, okay. Anyways. Okay, these are also camo. I thought I was... 3X. These are the Elitation Camo 7 8 tight. I'm trying to keep them in the air to get them away from his hair because they're white, but um yeah, these ones that had some like pilling. But I need to get I ordering a new sweater shaver. I haven't done that yet, and I will hold these for the sweater shaver. And I think these ones as well. So I thought a 3X. These are the Elitation Capri. Um I don't think I would have got these ones if they were like an extra extra small, but they were 3X, so I thought I'd try them more pilling, but I will try to get my sweater shaper on that. I'm getting the plug-in one, because that was recommended, so. Alright, and last pair of Athleta, there was six total, which is crazy. I was really excited, so thank you, person. But Athleta, the Elitation Camo 7 Tight, and 3X, and these are gray camo. So, these are very similar to pink, probably never worn. I've worn once or twice, but honestly, probably, like, never washed or, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, worn a few times, but not worn much. And these are from spring of 21. So, very exciting. Um, the Athleta leggings with, like, the style names under them do the better, the best for me. So, I was very excited. All right. Then I got three pairs of shoes. Uh, these are a pair of Buckle Flats. If you can guess the brand, go ahead and guess them. These are AGL. Or, I'm not even going to try it. Atelo. Just, okay. Yeah. I, did, I don't I don't take Italian. I'm assuming this is Italian because it's made in Italy, but... These were uh five ninety nine. I think this was the half off color. But they're a size thirty seven and a half. So actually a fun fact, okay. This brand I don't think is faked, but uh and like other brands like Jimmy Choo or something, uh, or like Christian Louboutin or YSL, like those type of designer brands, if it is a half size half size so this is a size thirty seven and a half if you can see it right there. Half sizes are faked less often. So if you see a pair of designer shoes and at the thrift store and you're not sure if they're real or not, um, and they're like a size like 36 and a half, 37 and a half, 38 and a half, or whatever, it's a good chance those are faked, uh, faked a little bit less. So, but does it, I mean, it doesn't mean they're real, but it doesn't mean like they have a better chance of being real than if they were like a size like 38 or something. So, if that makes sense. All right, these are so are a designer heel, and these are a silver like shimmer. This is my first time finding this brand, and they look like that. So, uh, I'm not sure, how, like, this brand is expensive, but these are Nicholas Kirkwood. Like, this is crazy. The quality on this camera is just insane. But, um, they're a platform, stiletto, I think, heel. These are size, oh, 38 and a half. So, I don't think this brand is faked either, but these probably retail for $500. They do have some wear. They have, like, that scuff there. And this heel looked okay, but I, when I looked at, like, this heel, it had, like, a... Like, so I think this person was driving. But anyways, I'll probably list these at, like... If they were in better condition, probably close to the $100 mark, but I'll probably list these at, like, 75 because of condition. But uh, these probably... These retailed for a lot of money. So, and they were fun in them. My last pair my sister found, um, but these are a plot, get, try to see if you can guess the brand just based on style. Um, anyways, so Ellery found these, and they are made well. 
and some made well this is my first time like finding their shoes i guess i didn't find them but um these are called yeah so they have all that they're leather upper fall 20 they're med size and a half woman size 11 but and there's like all the details which is nice and they're just a high top um sneaker so i, I don't know my, my mom already cleaned these because i can't i literally can't even with a magic this is the best they're gonna get i think well probably not but that's okay uh they're good enough to for in my standards to list but this is a soul so the soles are very clean um but uh so for I can't even like touch a magic eraser. I can't even be the same room as one. Like they, I just hate the feeling. I hate the sound. And it, yeah, it's just uh, uh, I just hate it. But um, yeah. So my mom does all the magic eraser shoe cleaning for me. But I'm less likely to pick up like I don't. That's why I don't pick up Vans and Converse like ever. Is because I usually have to wipe down that size. And I don't. First of all, I don't even like those brands anyway. I think they're like I wouldn't. I would never. I I wouldn't wear them. I don't. They're not my style. But. I know some people love them, but, and they don't really suffer that much either, unless you can get, like, a rare pair, but most of them aren't, so, this, I didn't even realize, did you see that detail, it's, like, cool, how it's, like, uh, comes, like, in, I'm not sure if that would be comfortable, but, um, yeah, I don't know, oh, yeah, also, it was really awkward, because my sister's, like, oh, I want to go wait in the car for you, and I'm, like, no, you have to come check out with me, because I'm not bringing these to check out by myself, sorry, I'm just not, anyways, um, that is everything, I'm gonna try to get these photographed, I'll try to get all this photographed and then hopefully list it within the next couple of days. But I think tomorrow is my one year anniversary. And I'm pretty sure Wednesday or maybe Thursday is my two year anniversary of when I found four pairs of jeans by a certain brand that I have I, that. So, okay, fine. I, I always talk about this. Like I bring it up at like probably every video. So on... I think it was either Saturday or Sunday or something, was my one-year anniversary of finding the Ula Johnson dress and the Mother Jeans at a Goodwill in Springfield, Illinois, which I'm hoping, I think I'm going to go back in the next, the next week or two, or in probably like two weeks, and I'm very excited to go back and thrifting in that area. But that Goodwill has not really performed as well as it usually does. So, but I'm hoping I'm going to go back. It'll be fine. I don't think I just need to lower my expectations because that will probably never happen again. But that was my last time finding mother jeans it was over a year ago, which is crazy because there was a period of time where I found them like every couple of weeks. And now it's been over a year. But anyways, so on Thursday or on tomorrow, on Wednesday, which maybe when this video will come out, is my two year anniversary of when I found four pairs of mother jeans at Goodwill and so maybe if I go back, the same person would have donated to them, but we'll just have to see. Probably not, but, um, yeah, I'm honestly kind of just kind of over it. If I, I, yeah, but I mean, I don't, I, th I don't think it's my favorite brand anymore, but I'm just, yeah, we'll just have to see. And if I don't, I, I doubt I will find them, but if I do, I'd be, I mean, I'd be happy. They don't sell as well as they used to. Um, and in fact, that Will Johnson and the Mother Jeans just haven't sold. You know what? Let me take them out for you again. And I'll tell you why I think I haven't sold. So these are the Mother Jeans. And um, so they're this like tiger print and they're a skinny leg. That's skinny leg. Well, okay. I can actually move like if they're like in a blue or black wash from like a solid color. That's not like if they're like a um, blue or black or gray, just solid color. I can move, even if they're skinny, like, low-rise, I can still move them pretty fast. But I think when it comes, I've sold, like, I've, you know, the, um, when I found the four pairs of other jeans, one of them was a red, skinny, low-rise jean. And those still sold for $60, but they took probably, like, six months to sell. Maybe eight months. So, um, I have a hard time moving the color denim or, like, printed denim. I picked up a pair of camo green um jeans my mother at the buy sell trade store and those haven't sold because i think they're printed and the printed jeans have a harder time selling i have these listed at 50 dollars, which if i some of my mother jeans have sold for 125 so yeah but i don't think i just don't think these are the right style they are size 26 which is a, a little bit of a smaller size but it's not like i sold mother size 24 before so they're the liquor kingdom of dreams but yeah, so hopefully me talking about them will just result in a sale. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. I'll think about something 
I'll just think about a certain item that I have in my thing, and I'll, like, sell, like, the next day. And it's crazy. But, right here is the wrinkled Ula Johnson dress. Okay, this is so bad. Okay, this is so wrinkled. Okay. I remember, I don't think I've ever been so excited to find something in my entire reselling career. Like, this was just crazy. I was like, what the heck is going on? Um, anyways, if you've never heard of this brand, this is the brand to keep your eyes out for. So, Ula Johnson, I think she has some other tags, but, yeah. Not to be confused with Ula Popkin, which I've seen her tag before, but, uh, not Ula Johnson's again, but who knows, maybe I will. So, this is a, like, a tiered cottony ruffle dress. So, I had this listed at $300, and I just dropped the price to, like, $250, um, but, because I want this to sell. This is a size 4 and 100% cotton, and just, uh, I just was over the moon when I found this. And it was like seven dollars like it was crazy um yeah so cotton has like side pockets too somewhere or something yeah pockets yeah anyways so i don't know i think that i don't know why it hasn't sold yet besides those factors but I got an offer on this one on eBay for like 175 and I really, I want honestly $200 for this, but I countered and she declined, so I was like, okay, but maybe I should have taken that, but I think if I got like a $200 offer, I'd accept it very fast, and if I got like a $30 offer on these, I'd probably accept those too, which is crazy, because when I found them, I was expecting them to sell fast, but they didn't, but maybe me talking about these are maybe signs that you guys will find them soon, or maybe I will find them soon, but we'll just have to see... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorite piece in this haul. I think mine, honestly, was probably... Probably, like, the, um... Camo Lulu Lemon Leggings or all the Athletas or something. But I think these are kind of cool. I'm excited. To, I like to find new brands. So, um... So, yeah. Let me know your favorite thing, and I will see you guys in the next video.